Okay, I'd like to welcome you now to one floor of the National Insect Collection. This is where we keep the order Hymenoptera, which are the ants, bees, wasps, and sawflies, and it happens to be also where we keep our hornets. This collection dates to, you know, really its inception in the mid 1870s with the formation of the US Department of Agriculture and was um, cooperatively merged with Smithsonian collections soon thereafter with the notion that there should be one national insect collection, not a Smithsonian collection and a USDA collection, but one national insect collection. This one's been beautifully pinned. Look at that. Someone's taken their time to <laughs> spread the wings on this. Yeah. This is really beautiful. Most of them just have them folded back like that. How old is that one? Yeah, it looks like 1952. Holy cow. I don't know, yeah. 70 years. Isn't yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And these were found all over the world. Yep, yep. And, the, uh, and that's one of the critical things about this collection is it's a long-standing, established collection that has the infrastructure to take care of something like this. It's no accident. Yeah. It looks amazing, and it's 70 years old. Yeah. That's a lot of work went into that, and that's the beautiful relationship between ARS and the Smithsonian is mm. they help provide the infrastructure ARS needs to keep a collection like this, and we help Smithsonian by curating it. Mm -hmm. We tr do loan transactions, we do identifications, we help run this place for them. Yeah. So it's a wonderful um, symbiotic relationship that most of our colleagues don't really understand. We actually work for USDA. They think because we're here, we're Smithsonian. We have to right. tell them, no, no, no. Smithsonian has their own research entomologist. We're what we call an affiliated agency.